<laughs> so, Guy, what are what are some things that you've learned during the course of, of making the film that you that have made it easier for you? Like, in terms of, I mean, you've got a lot of action scenes, explosions. What have you done to help make it a little bit more cost effective for you working on a smaller scale film? Well, we have uh, today we have a lot of, uh, as I told you, the world, is, 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 the movie world is changing. You, I'm not saying it's going to be in a better way because you also have like a lot of people now who want to make movies, you know, and there is a lot of crap in it too, you know, because everybody takes a camera and starts shooting. This is not the way it works, you know. Still, quality movie is still going to be, a, you still need a team, you need good actors, you need a good script, you need good lighting, you need, you know, all kinds of things that you work on that and, and raise the bar every time you try and to, to, when you're going to shoot another movie, I'm, I'm trying to raise the bar, you know, and uh, and in the last of quiz, there's, I have tested also a lot of scenes, you know, so it was like a, a a, a fire test for me, you know, like, okay, um, a few like a drill. for myself, what kind of scenes uh, are interesting to do, how do I pull it off, uh, does it work, doesn't it work, you know, and the first feature film that I did was actually a huge test to myself, in the meantime, why not shooting a feature film, right, mm -hmm. but, but like the second one will be a leap up higher, you know, we're going to shoot on raw 4K, you know, this is, uh, for example, already one point that is uh, top quality, you know. And um, the second, I'm going to work with a full UK cast, and all people that were already uh, deeper, who, who are just like making the leap up as an actress or actor, you know. And now, those are more accessible for me too, because these actors really want to work with me, because they saw in my other movie what I did, right? Now, what, oh, sure. What is it like for for you when you're just working there in Belgium, and all of a sudden you start getting all this attention from the UK? Was it did, did it totally take you by surprise? This is this is really crazy. This is uh, the way it works. Uh, obviously, I don't know, but this is something really deep Belgium. You know, um, when you are like I'm like a more alien in Belgium than I'm in, in the outside countries. You know, I have a lot more attention <laughs> in the UK and in the US. I got from my own country, but it's it's not a problem for me. I'm gonna work the, the, the way outside, you know, the, the way uh, reverse outside, you know. The most they start shooting your culture film, then they go to the Cannes Film Festival trying to get some attention, you know, or in, in, in the competition, get into competition, and then they do all kinds of film festivals. And you know, these film festivals, they are like a horde of sheep, you know, they all follow each other. When one movie is selected somewhere, they, the next one is, is looking at the other film festival. They do not select anymore this, this one, you know. Now you also uh, figured out a couple ways to get the kind of stretch your dollar, so to speak, in the film. You used reenactors as well as using uh, computer-generated imagery for all your explosions. So what made you decide to go that route? Well, the explosions, for example, this is a great example uh, that it can be done in Belgium. It would have been a, a really fight in the budget too. You know, uh, I couldn't afford that. You know, uh, this is a great example that you have in Hollywood. A, a decent explosion, you can arrange that actually for a very accessible price. If you want to do that in Belgium, first of all, you won't find anyone who can do that, or or maybe you will find one, but it's not an average day job here in Belgium. You know, I'm here in, in France, this is different, <laughs> but in Belgium, where I shoot the movie, it's not an average day job, you know. so. Uh, so you have to uh, take some risks. That's why I, I get all the, the, the explosions in my movie are uh, CGI actually. So uh, because it wasn't uh, be doneable, and I said okay, if, it, if it's acceptable, if, if CGI is acceptable for explosions, uh, then I put it in. And uh, so I tried it out, and it worked. It, of course, you will always find people who are maybe some some really like uh, you know very uh, focused on small details, but the perfect movie doesn't exist, you know, even a, a huge Hollywood movie sometimes for some people is perfect, right? It, it just does not exist. So if you got like 70% or 50% that likes your movie and say, hey, it was a good movie, yeah. then I think yeah. your, your goal is reached. Well, absolutely, a guy. Because I mean, you may not be able to compete with them on scale of budget and effects and things like that, but you can easily compete with them with story. Yes. 
Oh, Guy, thank you so much for coming on with us here, and good luck and have a great time in Cannes. Absolutely, guys. So I love you guys out there. You know, uh, keep going on with your great show and everything. Thank and, you. Uh, good luck with everything. How'd you say? I said good luck with everything. Yeah, thank you so much. And, <laughs> uh, and enjoy your day, because here it's evening. It's 10 o'clock almost, I guess. So, uh, But we're still going to enjoy it. And, uh, and doing some uh, some Paris here. And yeah. Having some drink, you know. Enjoy. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yes. Thank you. Well, <laughs> maybe next year we'll be out there together. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Come <laughs> on. 